Question 7. So please pause for a moment and read the question. Now, the first thing I notice is that this problem has no numbers in it. It's nothing but it, variables, and the answers are all these big square roots, gd over 2 sine theta cos theta, etc., etc. So one of these is going to have to be right and all the rest wrong. So we're going to have to just solve it. Let's start by drawing a diagram. We have some initial speed v naught with here's its angle theta. The ball will go up in some parabola curve and then come back down to the same height. So the distance that's traveled here is x equals d. And we should be able to break down our initial velocity into components so that we can split this up into x and y components. v sub 0 x is equal to v sub 0 times, I think it'll be sine of theta, and v sub 0 y will be equal to v sub 0 times cos theta. So I'm going to solve the x components and the y components separately, and then make the time equal on both sides. So for x, we know that the a component of the acceleration is 0, so v sub x equals v sub 0, x never changes, is just equal to the x distance divided by the time, which in this case is d divided by the time. Uh, so we can say that v sub 0 times cosine of theta, oops, darn it, <laughs> this is v sub 0 y and this is v sub 0 x. So is v sub 0 x. So I made a mistake with the y component and x component, but I don't feel like re-recording over it. <laughs> so back on track now, v sub 0 cos theta is equal to d over t. Uh, we'll want to solve for t so we can eliminate it. it. Uh, t is equal to d over v sub 0 cos theta. So now we're going to go over to the y side and say, okay, a sub y equals negative g, where g is 9.8, but that doesn't matter. It's just one of the letters over there on, in our answers. Um, I guess we know that, uh, let's see here, let's look at, um, by symmetry, I would say at the halfway point, v sub y equals zero. Okay, it's going to stop where it's going to stop going up and start coming back down. So we will say a sub y is equal to this delta v over v sub y over delta t is going to be uh, 0 minus v initial y divided by t over 2. This is one of many ways of doing this problem, but when you have some symmetry, it's good to exploit it. So, let's just solve that out. We have uh, negative g equals uh, negative v sub 0 sine of theta uh, divided by t over 2. We're going to solve for t, so we can equate it over to the x side. And we're going to get uh, t equals 2 because the negative signs on both sides cancel, v sub 0 sine of theta, all divided by g. So we're going to equate the x to the y, set equal. Scrolling down a little bit, I have that d over v cosine theta
is equal to 2 v sub 0 sine theta divided by g and solving that out I have g times d equals 2 v sub 0 squared just multiplying the denominators times both sides and solving out for v sub 0 which is what we're asked to solve for is equal to the square root of g times d divided by 2 sine theta cos theta so hopefully that's in our list of answers and looking up scrolling up it was a